Hey everybody, Lisa Almond Baldwin here, and today I want to talk to you about work-life balance versus work-life integration. Work-life balance versus work-life integration. Now, when I was a new mother, I took off my maternity leave and went back to work after the kids were around six weeks old, and that carried a lot of guilt for me. I loved being a new mother. I loved being home with them, uh, especially on the first one. You know, you're in this euphoria and sleep deprived and all of that, but you absolutely love it. And I loved my job. I really enjoyed the people I worked with. I enjoyed what I was doing. And let's face it, there's only so much feedings and diaper changings and no adult conversation that you can take. But even though I loved staying home with them, going to work, I carried a lot of guilt. I felt like I was missing out on things. I felt like they were left with somebody else that wasn't their mother, even though they were well cared for. And even when I did come home from work and enjoyed going back to work, even when I did go come back home to, um, from work, I was always thinking about what I had to do left at the office or what I was going to do the next day, or maybe I had brought work home from me. And it was really hard to balance those two things. So when I, even when they got older and they're in middle school and elementary school and all of that, um, you know, things were a little bit different and it was a little bit easier in some ways to balance those things. But still I felt like I couldn't be fully present in either one, the home life as a mother or the other being at work and being a productive employee. So when I first heard of this term work-life balance versus work-life integration, it sounded like they were the same thing to me. And we're used to hearing about work-life balance. But as I delve into the topic a little further, I realized that work-life balance really says being fully in one or the other at any given time, where work-life integration is a way to do both at the same time. So you're not excluding one over the other. So work-life balance, you know, it says you work and then you're off the clock and that's it. No more work. And then you're on your home life. Work-life integration is doing the two of them together. Now, they may sound like the same term and they are in some ways a little bit similar, but they are very different. So you might, so for example, on work-life integration, you might do things like, and especially since we're working at home a lot because of the pandemic, and for some people, that is permanently their office at home. So there is no going out to the office, right? But maybe you can do things like, uh, let's say you have a webinar to watch, right? Or there's a meeting, but you don't have to be on camera. And maybe you can do some things around the house, like fold the laundry while you're listening in, or um, maybe you're, I don't know, cleaning the dishes or something like that. And on, on the converse, maybe um, there are things like, if you do go into the office, maybe there's some days where you can bring one of your kids to the office. Um, maybe there's a room that they can go into, or if it's, I don't know if they still do this after the pandemic, but bring your, your son or daughter to work day. Um, or maybe you can make arrangements with your supervisor or your board of directors that you work a certain number of hours and, and you get to stop and go to your child's school program and then come back. And maybe you make up the hours at the end of the day. It doesn't have to be one or the other, balance or integration, and it doesn't have to be something that's necessarily um, unapproachable. You just have to have a frank conversation with, again, your supervisors, board of directors, whoever you're working for, and see what might work for both of you, right? If you don't ask, you won't get, as a coach told me one time. So think about this today. Is there a way that you can achieve harmony and more equanimity and equality in both of those big aspects of your life, your home life and your work life. That's the tip I have for you today. I'll see you in the next video.